here is another area of of where Israel is working very hard to put forward uh, propaganda and lies. Um, I've talked to you about what went on October 7th. Uh, yes, Hamas absolutely uh, b- breached the walls of their concentration camp and exited it into I- Israel proper and uh, and then took many hostages. And then they were in, it seems, many firefights with the IDF and the IDF killed everyone they could. They killed hostages. They killed, they, they shot tank rounds into civilian buildings. And they don't want people knowing a lot of that. They don't want people knowing that a lot of the deaths on October 7th were due to the IDF. And so here's uh, Max Blumenthal with the Gray Zone. He is showing that in this article, which is not, this is, you know, in a a Israeli newspaper, it's not a secret. Um, They say Israel plans to bury hundreds of cars with ashes and bloodstains that uh, are evidence from October 7th. They're going to bury them. And not only are they going to bury them, but they said in order to save space and be as environmentally friendly as possible, they explain that the cars may be shredded before being buried. So does this sound like they are completely fine with all the evidence that is on these cars covered in blood stains and bullet holes and everything else? The fact that they are being shredded and buried? I mean, the, nothing screams more we've got something to cover up than shredding and burying hundreds of vehicles that were involved in October 7th. Now, wh- I, I assume that the real reasons is because it's probably not that tough for an expert to figure out whether these are IDF rounds that went through these cars, even if the the bullets are no longer there, because I assume all that was cleaned up. But maybe an expert is able to tell what kind of bullets went through these vehicles. Uh, maybe they're, they're able to tell that, oh, this is a tank round that hit this vehicle. I would imagine that type of thing can easily be uh, surmised by an expert. And and then, of course, that's not even to mention more complicated testing like blood testing, DNA testing, all that stuff. Um, and clearly Israel does not want whatever evidence this is to get out. And so you've got to ask yourself, why is that? Why is it Israel would shred and bury cars? It, and is it to be environmentally friendly? Is that because if you if you believe that, then you are hopeless. You are. I've got a bridge to sell you in Brooklyn that I've shredded and buried. I've shredded and buried uh, Brooklyn Bridge, and uh, and I'm going to sell you a piece of it. Uh, just totally nuts <laughs> for them to for them to say this is proving our innocence, right? Clearly, everything we've told you about October seventh is accurate, and we just want to be environmentally friendly by shredding and burying these things. <laughs> 